We would like to welcome you to Durham Sixth Form Centre and this presentation will be covering what we think are the main factors you should consider when choosing subjects and qualifications on offer at this school. Firstly, I would like to introduce you to the careers, progression and aspiration team members and what their roles are in offering you advice, guidance and support over the next two years. Mrs Pack is an assistant head and the careers leader and works alongside Mr Miller supporting our most able group of students. One example is advising potential Oxford and Cambridge applicants. I am Mrs Kirkpatrick and my specialism is working with those students who are interested in medicine, dentistry or veterinary science. Other team members include Mr Gattis, Mrs Mongambarka and Mr Lindley who support students in all aspects of careers whether applying to university for apprenticeships, studying abroad or any other vocational career routes. Over the next few slides we are going to outline the key considerations which will help you to make informed decisions and choose the right combination of subjects and qualifications which best suits you. Firstly you need to consider your motives or reasons for choosing specific subjects. You have all been studying GCSEs and you might find one or two subjects that you really enjoy and want to study in greater depth and our level three qualifications allow you to study subject theory in a lot more detail. Durham Sixth Form Centre is unusual in that we offer a wide curriculum choice and there may be subjects you have never studied or even heard of before which might interest you. Therefore consider which new subjects share similarities with your studies now or with extracurricular activities you currently enjoy. However, think carefully as we would strongly advise you not to choose all new subjects as you may find this harder than including some subjects that you are familiar with and generally good at. It may be that you have a specific career in mind and it is therefore essential that you carry out some research to ensure that you have chosen any relevant or combination of subjects that universities may be asking for. For example, to study medicine, chemistry plus one other science is an essential requirement for the vast majority of medical schools. Certain university courses will look for specific A-levels. For example, if you want to study engineering, then you must do A-level maths and generally another science, which is often physics. However, apprenticeships in engineering can have different requirements, which may not necessarily include maths or physics. Some subjects are more highly regarded than others by some universities. These are called facilitating subjects. For example, sciences, English, geography, history, maths and modern languages are subjects most commonly required or preferred by universities to access a wide range of degree courses. They help you keep your options open when choosing a degree and many of the top competitive universities will ask you to have at least one facilitating subject when you apply. And if you don't know what you want to study at university, it can pay off later to take at least one or two of these subjects. The next key consideration is choosing the right type of qualifications. And for this, I'm going to pass you on to my colleague, Mr Lindley. Hello. As we've already mentioned, we have a wide range of courses available at Durham Sixth Form Centre. I'm going to focus on two main types of qualification we offer. BTEX and CTEX have the same UCAS value as A-levels but offer you a different but equally valuable way of learning and there's a greater emphasis on coursework. But remember, exams are now a compulsory part of all BTEX and CTEX. They are highly regarded and are now much more valued by universities and employers. However, some university courses, for example medicine, dentistry, don't accept BTEX or CTEX. Russell Group Universities, that's the top 24 research-based universities, as well as the more competitive universities, have a preference for A-levels, but are becoming more accepting of BTECs and CTECs as part of a wider offer. It's always best to check with the universities first. A lot of our students do a blend of A-levels and BTECs and CTECs. Many universities and courses will consider you whatever you choose, for example, law, marketing and politics, as long as you gain the right grades, of course. It's also worth remembering that non-Russell Group universities, for example, Northumbria and Sunderland, tend to ask for UCAS points rather than grades. The table below explains the grades and equivalent UCAS points. If you're thinking about doing an apprenticeship, 
The application process and requirements are very different from university. Any member of the careers team can give you advice about this, so don't be afraid to ask when you come to enrol or when you start here in September. Here, we want to give you some advice before you actually enrol at Durham Sixth Form Centre. There is no substitute for doing your own research. There are lots of websites where you can search for courses and look up the entry requirements. Don't be scared to actually ring the universities to ask if you're unsure. You'll find them more than willing to help. Just ask to speak to a member of the admissions team. You'll probably consider taking four subjects at the beginning of year 12. This will give you a degree of flexibility, especially if you want to change your mind or drop a subject. Most students continue with three subjects into year 13. It's important to make your own choices and not be influenced by what your friends are doing. You'll have plenty of time to socialise outside of lessons. Here are some websites that will help you research the right subjects and qualifications required for the most popular careers. You will now have received your enrolment pack which will contain a copy of the Next Steps booklet. Please complete the section in this booklet and bring it along with you to your enrolment appointment in August. We would like to wish you all the best for your GCSE results and look forward to seeing you in September. <laughs>